time to talk about the wonderful much awaited addition of furniture models to the scene but this is not interior designing we are going to talk about where to download furniture importing them to the scene adding materials to them and fixing issues with them my go to site to download furniture and decorations is 3dsky.com there are a lot of high quality free assets for you to download when you are selecting furniture, try to stick to one style. For example, if your interior is a modern one, stick with modern furniture. And note these dimensions somewhere, because sometimes you might have to scale them. What you would download is a zip file containing the model and the textures. The model is usually an OBJ file or an FBX file. That's alright, we can import them to Blender. But this is not free. You get only 3 assets for free per day for one account. The other site I am using is the 3dwarehouse.com which contains a massive amount of free assets. What I like about this the most is you don't have to load in materials. All the materials are packed into the file you download which saves a lot of time. One downside to this site is you don't see a good preview although the actual model has a higher quality. So if you are beginners, my advice is to start adding furniture sticking to your natural instincts. Then do some research and make sure that you are not doing any blunders. Otherwise you would be overwhelmed by all of these interior designing concepts right at the start which is not a good thing. So let's start adding furniture. The first thing I am going to add is curtains. As the files we downloaded are not blend files, we have to import them. So go to file, import, choose the file type you downloaded. My curtain is an OBJ file, so let me select this wave front option. Then locate the file and open it like this. These are my curtains. It is so big that we cannot even see. Get out of the camera view and zoom out to see it properly. When these files are opened, they are automatically selected. Press S and hit 0 0.01 to scale it down. Now you can see the curtains properly. Press Alt Z to go to the X-ray mode to see them when you are in the plan view. Now move them here. Go to the camera view and switch to the solid view mode. Scale this up a little. Move it back. We don't need this middle part of the curtains. We can delete it. Go to the edit mode. Select this area and press Ctrl L to select the whole connected mesh. Press delete and select vertices. Separate the curtains from the scene by pressing slash. We can move the curtains away from each other. Select this part of the curtain. Press G and then X to move it away like this. Do the same for the curtains on the other side too. Now we can go to the solid view. We are done with resizing the curtains. Now move the whole curtain this way. What we need to do is cover these two edges of the window. With this curtain there is a little issue. There is no way to hold this curtain in this position practically. The curtain must hang somewhere on the ceiling. So what we can do is we can hide this topmost part. To do so, select the room, go to the edit mode, select few of these faces and select the whole ceiling like this. But we don't need these faces. Unselect them holding the shift key. Now press I to inset the faces. Move the cursor towards the middle like this and click. We can change the thickness here. Now extrude it down like this. Select the curtains. Now we can add materials to the curtains. Like always, we'll go to the shading workspace to do that. We need a fabric material. I'm using this fabric 023. Add it to the curtains. However, we don't want this fabric to be blue. We only want the image texture that comes with the node setup. Press numpad period key to focus on the curtains. Remove this existing material. Add the mix color node here. It is to mix these two colors. Click on this dot and connect it to the factor input. Next add an RGB node and connect it to both color A and B. Remember when I said we are almost done with the materials in the last video? This is why. Let me make some room here. Add an RGB curve like this. Place it here. Pick a color you like. I need this to be yellowish creamy color. 
Now click and hold on this line and move it like this. Release when you get the color you want. Although this may seem a little bit complicated for a beginner, it's not. We just took a color and a darker version of it and mixed it according to the image texture. Next, we need a see-through material for the middle part of the curtain. Add a new material. Delete this big node, the principal BSDF node. I'm not going to explain each and every node because it would take a lot of time to do that. Search and find the nodes and add them to the node setup following my steps. By the way, if you are new to this channel, I make videos about interior modeling. So, if you want to learn about interior modeling, subscribe me. Now go to the edit mode. Select this middle part like this and assign the see-through material. We cannot see it through yet because we are in the material preview mode. But when we go to the rendered view, we will see it. That's not too bad. Now we can add the rest of the assets, which wouldn't be this hard. We can add a sofa now. The process is the same. Go to file, import, select the file type, locate the asset and open. This sofa is also scaled up by default. Scale it down by 0 0.001 times. If you want to get the scale precisely, you can do so if you know the real dimensions. Here's how to do it. Add the cube. Lift it up in the edit mode and change its height to the height of the sofa, which is 81 centimeters. Then compare the sofa with the cube. If they don't have the same height, scale the sofa accordingly. Press Shift Z after pressing G to restrict its movement on Z axis. Rotate it around Z axis and place it here. After that, I added a rug, a couple of chairs and a coffee table. Although this furniture comes with textures, I used materials from the ECPBR add-on as well as the variations of the material I just made. For the chairs, I added the wood texture that was used for the planks. And for the cushion, I used a variation of the curtain material. We can do that easily by just darkening the copy of the curtain material. For the sofa, I used a blue color so that it stands out from the rest of the furniture. And it makes the living room a bit more interesting. Select this material. I'm going to add the material for the pillows. It'll be just an image texture. Click open and select an image texture. Increase the sheen value up to 1 because clothes have sheen. I made a metal material for the legs of the sofa. It is easy. What I did was simply lower in the roughness and increase in the metallic value up to 1. To complete the seating area, I added a floor lamp. There are some SketchUp scenes that I downloaded from 3D Warehouse. To import them, we need to have import SketchUp scenes add-on. I have included the link to download it in the description. Activation is pretty simple. I hope you can handle it now. Now we can import SketchUp scenes. Go to File, Import, select Import SketchUp scenes. Now locate the SketchUp file and import. This is our TV. But we don't need these parts. I am deleting them. I am going to keep it here. We want our sofa right in front of this TV. So move this like so. I added this flower vase, couple of books and this object as a decoration. But I don't like this flower vase. I am deleting it. So what is this? It is an empty object. Usually used as a parent to the object. If you move it, the rest of the objects are going to follow it. But not the other way around. So select all. Press Alt P. Select clear and keep transformation. Now it's alright. We want to clear the parent before we are going to delete it. Otherwise all of these objects would be deleted. Place it here. We can add materials to these books, the floor lamp and the TV. I use the same see-through material that we created earlier for this lamp. Actually these book cover images are from a different model. It's not that hard. I am using the marble material for the object on the top. For the TV, one important thing is decreasing the roughness. 
for some objects all the textures that should be aren't there. For example look at this tray. Click on this fold icon. These are the textures that it comes with. We have a wood texture but we don't have a normal map which is usually blue in color. Therefore I am using the bump texture instead. By the way if you are enjoying my content up to now press the like button so that this video can reach to more people. Thank you for doing that. And one other thing, if an image texture is not connected to the base color input, don't keep the color space as sRGB. We use sRGB color space only for the base color input. The strength of 1 is way too much for this. Let's reduce it down to point 0.1. Since this is not the focus of the scene, you only need the image texture for the color. But if you don't have all the textures, make sure these nodes are disconnected from the principal BSDF node. I don't want these things, so I am going to delete them. So a little tip for you, when you have something like this with lot of separate objects, it is always a good thing to join them. Select all of these flowers and then select the vase. Make sure one thing of the selected set is highlighted in yellow, like this vase. Then press J holding the control key to join them. Now you can select the whole object. Place it here. We need the flower vase near the TV. I added these two flowers and the vase on top of the tray. These books and the object are too large, so scale it down. I duplicated these two books that were on the coffee table onto this slab. Let's move them towards this corner. I duplicated these books once and made some subtle changes like scaling and rotating. I changed their textures as well. Then I added the ceiling lamp and these plants. Sometimes we have to use stuff from other objects to make our assets complete. For example, we need this little ground plane from this plant to be used for this plant. And I added another plant. Plants are a great way to make interiors connected with the nature. By the way, for this ceiling lamp, we do have a normal map. Let me show you. So this image texture in blue is the normal map. You can call it normal map or normal texture. Reduce the strength. So that's it about adding furniture models. In the next video we are going to render this.